find the first four terms of the sequence given by the following. So we're working with explicit formulas and let's review real quick what that looks like for any term that you want to find. It is equal to the starting value or the first term and you multiply that by excuse me, you add, when we're working with arithmetic sequences, you add, if we were doing geometric, we would multiply. You're going to add the common difference, which is then multiplied by the previous term. So the first term is going to be added to the product of the common difference, D, and the previous term of whichever term you're looking for. So in order to find D, remember with arithmetic sequences, our D or common difference is equal to the second term minus, second term minus the first term. And that's our common difference or our common difference. That's how the sequence is changing the common rate of change or what we could consider the slope of the line, common difference. So <clears throat> it wants us to find the first four, uh, four, first four terms. Well, if we look at this, and we would rewrite this in the A sub N subscript um, form, term A sub N is going to represent our term. Our first term is going to be represented by A sub 1. And then we would add our common difference, which we could find by taking the second minus the first. And then the previous term is going to be 1 before n, or n minus 1. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can already look to see if n equals 1. We can already see what our first term is. And we can also see our common difference, which is going to be 3. So our common difference, our second minus our first, is going to be equal to 3. And our first term we see already is going to be 32. So we can put 32 in here. Now in order to find the second one, we could just add our common difference or another thing that we could do, because we know that we're going to have a common difference of a positive 3 each time. So 32 plus 3 is going to be 35, plus 3 is going to be 38 plus 3 is going to be 41, and we could be done. Those are going to be the first four terms of the sequence. If we wanted to go about it a little more mechanically, we would just plug in. If we want to find the first term, we would plug in 1 for our subscript, or 1 for n, which is going to equal 32, plus n is going to be equal to 1, so we would plug in 1 for n, minus 1, times 3. So here we're just plugging in 1 for n to find the first term. And then you would solve it algebraically. Equals 32 plus 1 minus 1 is 0 times 3 is still going to be 0, which is equal to 32. And if you wanted to go about it algebraically, you could plug in 2 and do the same thing for each of the terms to confirm that this is the correct answer. 32 plus when you plug in 2 for n, 2 minus 1 times 3 equals 32. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3, and it's equal to 35. And you could go on and do that for n equals 3 and n equals 4, and you would get the same thing.